All right, people. So the saw vices are um, ready to be shipped. Um, I'm waiting a couple of days here for uh, boxes, but other than that, they're ready to ship. <coughs> when you get it, that's what you're gonna get. The base has uh, three eighths holes drilled into it. Um, mine, I have uh, three two and a half inch three eighths lag bolts bolting it down that seems to work just fine uh, I'm not sending bolts with it to bolt it down because you might use through bolts with carriage bolts you might use through bolts on a steel bench um, you know you might use lag bolts maybe shorter maybe longer um, and I'm just not going to send a variety of bolts along with it for mounting it you'll have to come up with your own bolts for that um, set up to put the thing together when you get it it's it's going to be shipped in the box like this um with these with these handles so this is adjustable for height i suggest uh a minimum of two and a half inches in depth down as as a minimum if you go less than that i, I don't think you're gonna I don't think they'll hold up. Um, this is cut three quarters or more of the way through here for a pinch clamp, so you're not you're going to be a, up into that. It's an inch and a quarter down from the top, and you got to be down below that sum in order to get any strength out of it. So I'm saying two and a half inches about where it should be. Um, Put a little oil on this, it'll all turn easier, swivel easier. Um, everything is dry at this time. Uh, you can adjust this height. It's a 1 8 Allen wrench. You also have to supply that. There's a flat spot on here. That's for the set screw. So when you set it, all these marks that are made by a set screw are in the flat so it doesn't um, interfere with with anything sliding moving twisting turning so you can bring this all the way down to about two and a half inches if you want to and you'd have that much more height out of it if you need be however you're going to use the thing that's all up to you personal preference how you're going to use it, I'm making it adjustable so you guys can get some um, some adjustability out of it to suit your use, your purposes. <clears throat> this comes with a, with a uh, bar nut, <clears throat> again 8th inch Allen, this has a flat spot as well, slides off, slide this in here. Again, these are dry. Put some oil on here. <clears throat> Set screw on a flat spot. And you're good to go. Um, this is the top side. You mount the saw on this side. Just like you see here. That's, I just use one bar nut and a washer is what I've been using. But this is this style bar nut comes with a washer on it. That's what I'm sending with. Uh, I think this is a better a better bar nut for that. And this is a, a 13 millimeter. Fits all of the metric saws, other than like a 88, 088, 880. <clears throat> this will um, hold an 880. It is it is slotted for an 880 mount. Um, so everything else is slightly loose in it, um, but it mounts just fine. Um, you don't have to remove your chain tensioner with this. You don't have to adjust your chain tensioner to any specific position. I've made this thin enough that it misses every chain adjuster that I've put in it in mine so far. So bar nut comes with. You get one. There's two of these levers. These are the levers for um, tightening to turn it and 
to, to turn it and they are adjustable levers so you can adjust them where you want them pull it out turn it where you want it so you can get them out of your way you know what I'm saying if one bothers you the other way you can you can move them anywhere you want use them any way you want to use them so they go in the screw the through hole to the other side well there's to it tighten it this, this doesn't take a lot to tighten up these but they are adjustable so you can adjust it anywhere you want these things are like 35 bucks a piece so you get two of those one one goes up here one goes down here Simple as that. So you get two of those in the package, the bar nut, and this will be set as I showed. <clears throat> so I'm offering these, um, I've, I've made a dozen of them. A few of them are already out on order, are ordered, they're, they're going to be shipped here shortly. Uh, guys already wanted them, asked for them. Um, I have more for sale, and if I run out, I can make more. That's not a problem. Uh, might be a little while, but they'd get done. So I'm asking $350 for these shipped, lower 48. I'll ship worldwide. Anybody wants to pay the extra in shipping. Um, Whatever it would be, that's what it would be. Um, so that's where we're at. Uh, to get a hold of me, um, really don't have a phone number anymore for that. Um, so if you're on the forums, um, send me a PM. If you're on Facebook, uh, contact me through Messenger. If you're looking at my YouTube channel, um, send me an email at crabbycooter at yahoo. That's the email that works for me. My other original email does no longer work for whatever reason. So um, um, that's my contacts, the way you can contact me. Uh, I think all you guys can figure that out. Um, between them three, you should be able to find me. I don't use my email much at all. It's probably, of the three ways, probably the worst way to contact me. The forums on a PM or Facebook using a Messenger are what work the best. Um, setting up a PayPal account but in the meantime we can use a friend's PayPal account so I would include him in on any of our conversations so if you want to pay on PayPal um, I can do checks or money orders or anything like that I can't do credit cards or anything and if I get a PayPal account set up I'll post it somewhere that I do have it set up um, hopefully I'll get that done in a week or so so um, I think that's about it set up um, that's how it'll ship and it'll be ready to go shortly again the price is $350 shipped lower 48 um, thanks for watching